Please note that this video has spoilers for the subject. Put off by how long this video is, don't worry, I tend to jam-pack my videos with as much content, as many details as I possibly can, and I try to talk pretty fast, so while the video is a bit on the long side, I don't repeat myself, and I get into a lot of details about the subject that, you know, pretty much anything that I feel I can comment on and that I think you might find interesting. Guardians of the Galaxy movie thoughts. So I suppose I will start with the finale. I really like the the way they got rid of Ronan was yeah you know when when all else fails do a silly dance you know distract it. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm distracting you. Yeah, that was funny. And the, the whole dance and singing, you know, because like, you know, I think the, the songs, they're just faintly on the soundtrack. The, the characters can't particularly hear, so he's just standing there looking like a jackass, dancing and singing, and he's like, going all over to, you know, Gamora, and it's like, just, what, what are you doing? And it's like, oh, subtle, like, back to me. It's, wow. And and he just completely, yeah, it was just hilarious. And, yeah, they they get the, the Infinity Gem. Somehow they all, you know, work together to get it from him, use it to, yeah, that was, yeah. Now, the... We didn't see a lot of Thanos in this, but what we saw, I loved. They they got him just exactly right, you know. And I I realized that if they keep gradually building up to him like this, it will be 30 movies before we have a you know even a supporting role of him in. But seriously though, that was awesome. Just yeah, Josh Brolin with the the voice and the whole yeah. And the, the smile, just him and his thumb, boy, the, yeah, wow, yeah, absolutely perfect. And just saying to his face, you know, I could not care less about your political issues here. Get me that gem, and I'll destroy that world that you want, you know. Now, the... I suppose that you know, you've got the <laughs> Thanos' very dutiful aid, you know. It's, he, he keeps having to, like, threaten others of the wrath of Thanos, and Ronan wouldn't hear any of it. <laughs> Just, I, I have to f figure that every time we're not seeing him on screen, that's what he's doing. He's talking to someone on behalf of Thanos, telling them, how big trouble they're in because of Thanos, and finally someone just snapped, and Ronan isn't exactly the most stable to begin with. Lee Pace was perfect in the role, just awesome. I really wasn't quite sure why the Collector explained the Infinity Stones and the whole... I don't know, I guess... Did he just not expect them to be able to get... I mean, I realized that he didn't think that the, the slave girl there would try to grab the stone and, and such, but... Badooch. But, I don't know, it, it seemed a little gratuitous. It was for the sake of the audience and to tell the characters that. Meanwhile, it was, you know, it was a good explanation and... Yeah, the the end credits scene. I did not expect to see Howard the Duck there, but yeah, that was yeah. Now I I wasn't entirely clear on what when when 
When Drax and Ronan were fighting, what exactly was Groot doing? Because Raccoon, Rocket specifically said, you can't fit in one of these pods. You know, Peter, Raccoon, and, and Gamora were in the pods. But then Groot shows up after, after the fight and pulls Drax out of the water or liquid. I, I think it was said what it was, but I forgot. And it's just like, uh, glad he was there afterwards, but what exactly was he doing during? Now, when... There's this, there's that one part where Gamora tells Peter that his ship is filthy. And he stares at her, you know, as she, he, he leers at her. And he says, you, you don't know half, the half of it. And then he's, if you took a, a I think black light, something like that, to this place, it would it would look like a Jackson Pollock pin. I hate to be that guy, but that's a two and a half men joke, you know, from back when Charlie Sheen was on, aka when I, when I watched. Yes, correlation does indeed in this case equal causation, and the show did it better. I'm sorry. Now, I found that uh, the the scope and abilities of things in this were, were unclear I, until Nebula's pretty much falling apart actually I guess yeah when she put herself back together after the explosion only then did I really realize that there was some kind of robotic thing going on there and she's dead you know two minutes of screen time after that so yeah you know, five or ten minutes of movie time, but as far as her screen time goes, yeah, it was it was really interesting, and then gone she is. Now, and with the, I I did really like the the whole <laughs> during the jailbreak. Yeah, I'll I'll start with this one detail. The the bit with the you know I need that guy's you know fake leg. What do you mean? I I just need it, okay? Need it for the plan, okay? And, you know, during this big scene, cut into the cell. You need my what? And then you know he gets up, put down that leg. No, and he gets up. Okay, here's the leg. But I don't need the leg. What do you mean you don't need the leg? I just thought it would be funny. Was he hopping around on the other leg? <laughs> and then later, okay, for the plan, we're also in that guy's eye. And he's like, did you keep it now? <laughs> no, you are not. No, really, we need that eye. But yeah, the whole jailbreak was just awesome. I love that the whole, you know, he got this background thing going on. With, you know, it's it's one of the many times where the movie really subverts expectations. We expect that they're going to sit down and talk over this careful plan. The way they do later on in the film, where, when they plan how to get into Ronan's ship and deal with him. You know, we expect them to sit down and go, over, okay, you do that, and you do this, and you know. But then, nope, suddenly they just have to, you know, and as he's explaining it, is you know, they're talking about this one thing. And it's, and it's it's also part of this thing of, you know, when whenever you have really powerful characters in a piece of fiction, it's like, why doesn't that character just go do that? Why do we need the other characters? So here, yeah, Groot can get big enough. He can, he's strong enough. Sure, he can go do that. So he goes and do does that, and it don't work out too well. <laughs> you know, the whole thing of. You know, nobody could possibly reach up there. He grows. We, you know, we couldn't get there without being noticed. And he just reaches over. Okay, look, we have to do this, but when we pull that thing, it's gonna get set off an alarm. So we want to do that 
absolutely last and the alarm goes or we could take it first and just improvise and then you know each of them picks something to go after and they all yeah now there with the climax you know the the dark aster i think it was called you know i i really like the thing about the the nova core put up a shield excuse me it just excuse me it, you really believe that these are sort of a police force it's it's not just the you know yeah you you can the the fact that they put up a a net of of spacecraft you know a, a shield like that it yeah you you believe that these could actually yeah police the universe you know but but yeah the you know Ronan's ship comes crashing down and you know yeah we we again get our big summer movie collateral damage but it's on a different planet so it's okay and I suppose I quite like the I, I like the way they very gradually grow on each other for a while they're at each other's throats several of them you know the first time they meet each other they are there to kill and or capture the other person not necessarily in that order and yeah you know even over the course of it they're almost yeah and yeah only only over the course of it do they actually get to you know respecting each other and, and such now the i suppose yeah so the the thing about you know his his mother that we see there at the end with this you know at at the start of the film you know he doesn't take her hand and then she dies and you know it's just, I'm not saying anything I know it's a little kid it's it hurts to lose me if he had just Reached his hand over. I mean, he he might not have realized, but his hand had the essence of life that she needed. And if he had just touched her, she would have lived to be like a hundred. But you know, okay, you want to hesitate, whatever. But yeah, there. You know, over the course of the film, we see him, you know, afraid to commit. He, I mean, he betrays the people who were, you know like a thing. <laughs> I love the part where he keeps saying, what, when you, when I left with you, you, you mean when you abducted me? But yeah, you know, and then only at the end does he really, you know, say, no, I'm really, I'm taking responsibility, I'm saying this is, yeah, and because of that, he is now ready to open her, you know, the, the package that she gave him and it's another cassette of you know awesome music some something like that and yeah that was and and you know, he reads the letter again and she's the one who called him Star Lord and everyone in the audience goes ah that was Jim that was sweet I thought that was a good yeah, I suppose that pretty well covers it. I I don't know for sure, but I feel like they are. I mean, this is I guess this is the third Infinity Stone we see. I think, yeah, and we know so we know that the Collector has one. And now the Nova Corps has another, 
and I maybe mean, shouldn't say those who watch these movies know. Yeah, and I I could see how you know in maybe the second or third of these Thanos you know will you know send out forces to steal the the stones from the the places we already know they are and you know and other stones that we haven't seen in these films yet and our heroes will have to stop him either right after he's gotten the last stone or prevent him from get getting the last stone something like that it's going to be interesting to see how they're going to top this one. I'm not saying they can't, but I'm, I'm yeah, because I'm, this one literally did have the power of one Infinity Stone. You know, first the bad guy tries to use it, and then the good guys use it against the bad guys. So, yeah, there's something to to top there. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.